my name is Paul Darby from DotScorp. In this short video, I just wanted to introduce you to this improper redaction setting that we've actually put into Clean Docs. We've introduced this to protect you from sending documents out that you may think are redacted, but actually haven't been. You know, maybe they've got a black box on the text rather than actually having a proper redaction. So this option will only appear uh, if we find something like that in the document. Now, we are alerting you to the fact you can then go back to the document and redact it properly, or there is an option here for sending the document as is. Okay, so i.e. you've been alerted, you're aware of it, thank you, but you can still send the document. But let me just show you a couple of workflows where this would actually happen. So let me just hit cancel there. Probably the most common of those is when you're working with inside a PDF itself. Yes, under the uh, insert in PDF docs here, under the protect ribbon, we do have a section for redacting text properly. However, in some instances, it may be down to a case of someone drawing a box over some text like this and then coloring that text in. So putting the outline in uh, black and then, of course, putting in, filling it in. So now we've got a black box. And we can see now that I can move that black box around. So this PDF is built in a layer, which means, of course, if you email that to someone, they could do the same thing. So what we do here, of course, is if you choose to then save this document and then essentially it ends up on an email, if I send this attachment here, when I go to send it, I'm just going to analyze it here so we can have a look. We can see that we get warned that there is actually an improper in redaction in this document. And we know that because I put in a black box and we can move the black box around. So just come back to this setting again. What this means here that I could go back to my document, I could redact it properly using tools from the Protect ribbon in PDF Docs, or I could in fact just send it as is. Okay, that means the document would go with the box in there. Now the other thought process, of course, is when you're working with a file, well that's okay, you know, I've got a black box on here, but what if I then flatten this box to make uh, that work for me? But flattening isn't redacting. So if I choose flatten here, like that, it flattens that black box on there for me. I can't grab the black box anymore. But if you look carefully, when I drag my cursor down in that black box, you can see the faint highlights of some text. And that means the text is still there. So even though I flatten the box, it hasn't actually removed the text from the document. But Clean Docs will pick that up for you as well. So if I email this document now, and then do analyze once again. Once again, Clean Docs will pick up that it has an improper redaction in there. So boxes on text, buttons, boxes flattened onto text, we're picking both of those up for you to ensure that you're not sending your documents out uh, with a improper redaction. But what if we started from Word? Okay, so here I have a Word document like this. And of course, I can grab some text from a document and I can highlight it. So I could go in there and maybe I can do this type of thing. Okay, so I can simply go in and actually highlight some, uh, put a black highlight around some text. Now, if you are sending documents out as Word, black text on the black background, we will deal with it. Okay, white text on the white background, same thing. In fact, you red on red, yellow on yellow, etc. So, but what if I convert this to PDF? So now I'm going to take this document and I'm just simply going to convert this off to PDF. Once again, I'm in PDF Docs, but of course the text is still there. If I sort of draw down and just make this a shade bigger, you can see that at the end here, the text is highlighted. So even though this started in Word, we converted it to PDF to think that we've redacted it properly. Of course we haven't. And of course, once again, Clean Docs will pick that up as an improper redaction for you. Okay, so even what you're doing in Word, we're picking up for you. Now, the final workflow, I'm re well, a couple of other workflows I'm just going to show you. So this one here, let's get rid of this black highlight. We don't want that anymore because there's a couple of other things that, that can happen in Word. One of which is to do exactly what I did in a PDF a minute ago and is to draw a box over some text like that. Now, if I draw some box over the text, of course, we can color it in black. There it is. And now I want to convert that to PDF. So once again, we go off into PDF docs. Okay, we'll take a document. Now, once again, we've got our document from Word. 
we can't do anything with it inside our application but of course if you scroll down once again you can see the faint blue of text and once again we will protect you from that so even if it started in word we will once again show you that the text is an improper redaction in there so no matter how you're drawing these boxes on you know we can see that now this is the final one I'm going to show you the final workflow because at the moment we've been talking about black boxes but in reality it's not sometimes just about a black box it's about any color box okay and probably the most popular of those is white let's turn off the out the outline like this okay so now what I've got is a solid white box okay text underneath it I'm going to put that somewhere because we don't want to see that paragraph here for example okay there it is can't see it pop that through to PDF Docs okay so now I've done put my white box in my Word document I've converted it to PDF and there it is but look as soon as I drag some text you can see I've got text underneath that white box so once again of course that's dangerous because some could copy and paste that text out uh, but if you try and email it uh, once again we will pick that up for you as well okay as an improper redaction so this tool that we've included into clean docs is there just to ensure that if you are meaning to hide some text in a document we have warned you on that okay so that's what the improper redaction tool does it comes with clean docs version 2.6 and above but it's just really short video just to show you how that works I hope you found that useful. If you've got any questions, of course, please do contact us at DocScorp. Many thanks.